Hi everyone, I'm Katie Stanley, a naturalist here at the Allegheny County Parks Department, and today we are talking spotted lanternflies. So you may have seen these posters everywhere talking about stop this invader throughout our Allegheny County parks. So let's talk about how to identify spotted lanternflies, why you should care, and how you can make a difference. So spotted lanternflies look very different in their different life stages. So they first start off as an egg mass, which can be found between September and June. And this egg mass is on hard surfaces like tree trunks, patio furniture, cars, and trains. So these can be found between September and June and look like dried mud. Next up is the nymph stage, which you can find between April and September. And the nymphs change coloration as they age. Now these nymphs blow out of the canopy and often climb back up the tree, which we can catch with our traps. And lastly is the adult spotted lanternfly, which you can find between July and December. Now at rest, the spotted lanternfly as an adult looks very dull, tan, and gray, but in flight is a brilliant bright white, red, and black. So why should you care about the spotted lanternfly? Well, they are an invasive pest native to Asia. And in Asia, they have no problems because there are predators that eat them. But here in America, they have recently arrived, nothing recognizes them, nothing eats them, and therefore their populations grow exponentially. Now these insects suck sap from many different plants, actually up to 70 different types of plants, many of which are important agricultural and forestry products. They will not only feed on the invasive tree of heaven, but also apple trees, grapevines, maple, birch, sycamore, hickory, the list goes on. So as they're feeding, they're sucking sap, which is a plant's food source. Therefore, by removing too much sap, they're effectively killing that plant. Furthermore, they excrete a sugary substance known as honeydew, which can limit photosynthesis and attract sooty mold to whatever structure it lands on, including patios, which isn't too pretty to look at. And lastly, they can have some serious impact on our economy. Penn State actually did a study and found that the spotted lanternfly can cost up to $325 million annually to the state of Pennsylvania just in damages and lost revenue, as well as up to 2,800 jobs. So as you can see, spotted lanternflies are gonna have a big impact on our economy and possibly our plant communities. So what can you do about it? Well, one of the best things to do is if you find those egg masses, destroy them. Those egg masses can have up to 60 eggs in them. So by destroying it, you're limiting the population of 60 plus spotted lanternflies. So find one, scrape it into a container of rubbing alcohol and dispose of it. If you find a spotted lanternfly in any of its life stages, report it to Penn State Extension by calling this phone number here. And the last thing that you could do to make a difference is make a spotted lanternfly trap, which we are going to do in our next video. Thanks so much for listening.